Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Fuller Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wild of space where we have colonized three of them. And last time we spent most of our time trying to make sure that this little rock here, Blagolia, was nice and self sufficient. We've got power set up, we've got food set up. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here, so we're going to start concentrating on somewhere, one of our older places that's been having a little bit of troubles. If we come over to Pi Axlin here, you can see that we've got problems with the food generation. Some of it is going well, some of it is not going well, and it's mostly down to the fact that, as you can see, we are running out of power. We are not producing enough petroleum over here. In fact, here comes a fresh load. The fact that there was an empty pipe makes me very, very sad. I want to try and make sure that this pipe stays absolutely full. That's fine. They're just going to the toilet. Don't worry about these guys. They're absolutely fine. We have 47,000 calories. My aim for today is to come all the way down to the bottom of this asteroid here and make note of the fact that we have one, two, three oil reservoirs that we need to try and hook up to the same system. I also see we have a little minor volcano here, so I might try and use the volcano to warm up the, uh, the oil that comes out of these oil reservoirs and then send the hot petroleum past the cold crude oil that comes out of these to cool down the petroleum pre-warm up the crude oil then we don't have to deal with 400 degree petroleum for those of you that are not aware if we have a click on the crude oil over here and have a look at this page you can see the crude oil very very nice very uh, predictable to deal with here the petroleum uh, the crude oil turns into petroleum at let's say 400 degrees we have three degree leeway for a state change so we need to try and get this crude oil up to 403 degrees let's call it 402 just to be certain but if we go too far if we go up to 583 we end up with sour gas a uh, a, a gas that I, I can't really deal with right now i would have to be able to like freeze it back down to try and get it into a much nicer state here if we go over to the the uh sour gas page you see i've got to like cool it down to minus 161 i can't do that i i literally cannot do that so we're gonna try and very gently using the power of a volcano warm up some crude oil and to be able to do that we're gonna have to try and get one of our duplicates back home over here yes the most stressed duplicate on this rock she is madame curie a radiation expert extraordinaire apart from that's not what she does on this rock she is a builder and a digger and i need to try and send her home because uh, honestly we we don't have any way of actually managing to uh, to dig over on pi almost every all of the duplicates over here are very very busy very very busy so we need to try and make figure out how to get her home and i think the way that we're going to do that of course is to make some steam put it into my steam engine over here i'm still not sure whether we can actually take off with this but i also need to take care of one more uh tiny situation here if we come into the uh, the spacefarer module press the f4 it's almost full of carbon dioxide we need to pump this out of here and get some more oxygen in there uh i've got i've got an oxygen tank right here i do not have the ability to put into the oxygen tank though and to do that i'm just gonna make a few small changes in the ventilation little menu here we have the rocket gas port loader i just want to make sure oh, i don't i don't know whether this is actually going to be able to fit here or not but it will plug into the side of our rocket platform and hopefully that will enable us to start pumping the oxygen straight in there where are we going to get our oxygen from i don't know actually if i'm to be honest with you we'll, we'll try and figure that out as we go along we've got a whole a bunch of polluted oxygen that we could use i would prefer to put regular oxygen in there oh look we've, we've opened up the area can i now do yes we can do it okay beautiful we're gonna pop that down there like that as well okay with the gas rocket port set up and of course the uh, power waiting to be um put into place i think we can come inside the spacefarer module and start thinking about how we're going to get the gases out of here i am going to mostly deal with it by taking uh, getting rid of this bed the bed unfortunately is holding up uh, one of the spaces that i need you can see this port down here this is a gas port we can throw any gases we want into here and it will throw it outside of the uh, of the rocket uh let's click here no that's not how i see the outside let's click over there instead uh, and out here it will just event into the wonders of space anytime that you see this uh this nice little background here any of the materials that get vented into this vacuum will get destroyed as opposed to uh let's see if i've got a vacuum elsewhere as opposed to this vacuum down here which you see has a background to it and if i put anything in there it will fill up the space whereas this does not have a background and it will disappear as if you put it into the actual wilds of actual real space 
Anyway, without, with the bed now missing, we can come into the gas pump over here. I want to put it in this corner because that's where all the carbon dioxide likes to accumulate. Get a little gas pipe on the way here. A conduit for all the gases that we have running around. And of course, a little bit of power is also needed, but that will be taken out at the end of it. It keeps trying to pump gases in from the outside of the rocket. I don't I don't think we actually have any gases in here at all, do we? No, no, no gases in here at all. I can put polluted oxygen in. I might just do that. I mean, Curie's been dealing with sw slime lung, yeah, slime lung for a little bit of a uh, little bit of time now. So may maybe we'll just run with that. And with the last piece of pump going into place, last piece of piping, sorry, going into place, we can see we are starting to move some of the carbon dioxide out of here. Unfortunately, the uh, the serious power issues that we seem to have on the go, and just for the rocket, just for the rocket, seem to be holding us back. I wonder if we can see any of the gases escape out of here. They come out of the space fair module, but I don't know exactly where they come out of. I assume it's somewhere around here but trying to watch the little individual uh, packets come out. I feel it might be a little bit of an in vain attempt as uh, they'll disappear as soon as they appear, right? They'll, they will drift off into space before we even get to see them. Much like the polluted oxygen that is uh, venting out of this polluted dirt. Yeah. Okay, so the reason that we are not getting power into the rocket is because nothing's hooked up together. I, I, I suppose that makes sense. We're slowly making power from the uh, solar panel there, but it's not, not actually doing too much. So we connect those together and let's just quickly do a little count here uh, 300 420 okay I think this is good this line can only take a thousand and I'm a little bit worried about what happens if I just connect it straight up to the battery and maybe it just draws all the power at once but we're gonna give it a go we're gonna find out what happens yeah Wait, I, f I forgot a step. I, I very much forgot that you need to give a vent. I, I, for some reason, had it in my head that this would just vent straight out into space. No, you, you need to give it an actual gas vent a way out from this area here, from green to white. I suppose, technically, what we're doing is going from green to white. The white then goes to this green and then gets vented. Just, just to let you know exactly what I'm doing here. And so in a totally reasonable manner, we are now venting our carbon dioxide to space. Oh, look at that. It does hang around for a little bit. Oh, and there we go. That, that was... That was all the stuff that we could get out of this gas pump for now. Let's have a look. We've still got quite a lot of carbon dioxide in there. It's not the end of the world because we're waiting for this power line to get hooked up. They are on seven, so I was kind of expecting people to be on it by now. Oh, and indeed, Curie is doing it, just not that particular wire that I had clicked on. Before we give too much thought as to how we're going to refill this up with any gases so that Curie can make the trip across, though, I have set up a little bit of a automation here so that we're we're only picking up carbon dioxide but we still need to fill this up with thicker gases we only have let's have a look 42 grams of oxygen in this area that that's not enough that's not enough but i would like to set some things up before we leave and before curie makes it impossible to uh, before curie leaves making it impossible for people to build i've got all these individual power networks set up here and they're not connected to the thing that makes the power we, we should definitely fix that so i've gone ahead and set up two power transformers over here with some uh, batteries next to them but of course i want to run the wires through here so i need to try and seal off this entire little water tank uh, that shouldn't be too difficult i i do hope so that i can then wire, uh, run this gold wire if i grab it out and across like that over into whatever power system i want to over there uh, another thing that i'm gonna do and i might even do it right now let, let, let's do it i'm just gonna dig out all of this area here because behind here we have a gold volcano and you might remember from down here that the gold volcanoes don't actually put out that much heat so I'm, I'm just gonna let this one go because if we press the heat it's it's very cold up here it's very cold so we could do it with a little bit of warming up in this area anyway and that's what we're gonna let the gold do that is what we're gonna let the gold do I'm gonna come through and put a nine on here because I'd really like that to get dug out first if at all possible is Kiri gonna get on it no of course she's not because I told oh, oh, oh she, she was gonna get onto it uh, but of course she's gonna put the ladder in place first okay that that's that's okay I suppose I would prefer it if you came along and dug out this uh, given that that's a six and that's a nine I should imagine that is the next thing that she is going to do all right beautiful let's speed this up a little bit actually shall we uh, I, I 
I just want to, I want to see the gold volcano and I want to know whether it's actually in the middle of erupting or not. Look at that. We've got nearly uh, a ton of polluted water just in this tiny little space here. There's even more over this way. So if we do need to try and cool everything down, we can just pour that on top. Oh no, Curie, have you, have you had a problem because there's no way to bridge your, your way across? I, th I, th I think that's the problem that just happened here. Where, where's she gone? Where's she gone? You know, you know, we'll just, we'll just let her go do her thing because at this times three acceleration, it's just a little too much. Uh, hopefully she'll just look, drop herself down drop yourself down hopefully she'll drop herself down no she's not gonna do it all right fine we, we just get to look uh looks like it's idle at the moment idle is not dormant though so that's pretty good all right bye <laughs> Oh, and here she comes again from the other side. All right, be beautiful, beautiful. Get those ladders in place and get this dig dug. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long there is in between uh, the idle uh, states, but... I don't have a researcher here, so we're just going to have to make do with leaving it to go. I'm also going to do that. Wait, wait. I don't want to dig that one out. There we go. Beautiful. We're just going to ask everyone to come along and pick up these materials whilst Curie goes ahead and uh, makes the power system absolutely fine. There's some ice here. We've got some space exposure above it, so I think I might actually want to throw in a small tile just up there for, for when it melts. You know, maybe actually just there. And this is why. Look at Goddard. We, we need to get you off of that. We don't need you running around like this. I'm wondering whether I want to destroy these and then send this one over to the sieve. No, I think I think we can probably make do uh, still by destroying this. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm going to destroy all these and then we're going to grab this one and uh, drag it across. But what I'd actually like to do is take this golden wire and upgrade a whole bunch of our facilities over here. And whilst we watch Kiri go around and do this particular job, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that keep me doing my particular job. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of the girls and guys that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly donation to make sure that me and my shenanigans that I put onto this channel can continue forth into the future. I mean, honestly, do you not want my duplicates to carry on? I want my duplicates to carry on and therefore I say thank you so much, guys. It's only with your help that I'm able to do what I can do. Oh no, how is this out? Curie's gone and got 100% stressed. Th this is not what we want. We've already gone and made it almost impossible for her to get in here. Um, I, I, I suppose we're, we're just going to have to do it. Send her off. We we can't have her eating all the food, especially when she was about to start digging into some of the uh, the cooked sea seafood over there. Mm, no, that that would have been very very bad. Talking of very bad, I can see there's a few problems over here. I need to like take some of this lot out so that we, Curie can go around and make some more builds. I wonder why this is. What, what 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 went wrong with her? Why is she suddenly so much more stressed? Let's have a look at the interior. Let's look at the, look at Curie here. Let's have a look at the stress. Low morale. Why are we at low morale? She should be eating some. Good Good food, sopping wet, and popped eardrums. So th those two are quite a, a massive amount. Uh, the sopping wet and popped eardrums are adding 40% per cycle. But the the high high morale should have actually helped her out there. Is she going to like actually? run out of breath that that's the thing i'm worried about is that she's gonna suffocate while still being very very full of you, you know what I'm, I'm gonna have to let her out i'm gonna have to let her out we haven't got any air in here whatsoever and the stress is getting to her. can we slow this down and maybe uh try and run it just a little bit better here maybe maybe i'm gonna have to come outside uh l select the rocket and then come back inside so i can Go ahead and hit the all here and then hope that maybe on Curie's travel around, she'll actually chill out. Doesn't look like she's going to chill out, does it? Doesn't look like she's going to chill out at all. Okay, so maybe this is now time for a little bit of a uh, change of plan. We're going to put a pump in there. We're going to get the... I mean, is that where I want to put it? It's, it's good enough for now. We're going to get the gas bridge and go up and across and in like so. I'm sure there's somewhere closer. I could have put that maybe here, maybe here, but that will work for now, especially as it is the end of this power line. Conductive wire is indeed what I want to move up and into there. Beautiful. Hopefully we're getting more gold made as we talk. I did notice during that time lapse that gold was being created over there. Where's Curie going? I'm really worried about her, if I'm to be honest. Let's look in here. Let's uh, we got any uh, let's get some shine nymph eggs. Or a bunch of copper. No, shine nymph. That that eleven ranching is something to keep an eye on, but no. Is she about to yeah, chow down on the cooked seafood. Maybe we'll just send her back to here. Like, she, she's breathed now, right? She, she's got breath, so we can just 
cycle back and fall. Oh no, she's at sixty percent stress. Let, never mind. Never mind. Let let her back to it. I don't I don't know what what happened, but hopefully we can fix it. Okay, whilst everybody is panicking and making sure that stuff gets done nice and quickly, I want to watch this gold volcano erupt. I did watch it a little bit during that time lapse. Which, look, there's salt over here. We have boiled some water, most definitely. I did watch it happen a couple of times. Let's press F3 and see what we've got going here. Now, it's still very, very cold around here. Minus numbers are on display, but we are warming up the polluted oxygen to quite a degree. And indeed, we've got some obsidian down here. 28 degrees. I mean, that's pretty hot, but it's not as hot as I was expecting. This pufflet print though are you gonna get are you gonna get burnt I, d I don't know how long until this actually spews forth i would like to analyze but we don't have the uh the duplicate on hand to be able to do that nobody here is a uh, an actually trained in science scientist they they're all scientists in name only let's just kind of speed this up a little bit until it actually starts spewing out some of this gold lava over here any moment now i mean this could is this going to take all day just to warm up is that a thing oh there we go we've got some gold uh, gold magma coming out of here uh it's quite warm but then immediately cools down let's have a look at the the, the temperature of the gold here 700 degrees that is quite hot i wonder if it's just throwing out the obsidian is at 500 degrees Okay, maybe we could do with getting a little bit of water just over the top of here. I also, I'm wondering if we could just do that. Would, would that solve that particular issue? I hope so. Because it would let some water on onto this platform over here. And that, that would be good, right? And before everybody's finished building, we have some pumping underway. Now, you might be like, hey, I remember you not having polluted oxygen ticked it. I'm going to go ahead and just tick that. We're going to start letting this, this little area fill up. And um, we're also going to let it fill up with polluted oxygen. That is fine. I don't have too much of a problem with that. Uh... Yucky lung is not the biggest problem to have to deal with. Slime lung, yeah, we can deal with it. I'm making a quick little safety save here because Curie doesn't have access to any of the nice food that she would normally eat right now. And she's only got 700 calories, but up at the very end of this line here, there's a Paku fillet right in there. So I would like that to be turned into some cooked seafood in the morning. Oh, there, there's the Paku fillet right there. If that's at all possible, that, that would be a much better way of doing it. But I'm a little bit worried that... Curie's gonna just starve. So yeah, I made I made that safety save. We'll see how it goes. How's her stress doing? Still going down. Nice. 40% per cycle. That could be a lot worse there. Okay, calories wise, we got through 200 calories overnight, give or take. That sounds about right, given how much of a uh, slice that is, and the fact that she loses a thousand overnight. Okay, so one of them went into there. Are we are we not making any nicer food? Is that is that just not a thing? Has that not actually been created anywhere around there? No, we is one it? Is one all that we can take? I might actually have to end up letting her have uh, some swampy delights, but that that's going to be bad mojo there. Okay, let's pause it. But, hmm. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Cook packet. Why, why is no one coming on to do this? What is this? No pending deliveries. Got her. Number one. What are, you, what are you doing? You're waking up. Okay, go. 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 This should hopefully be fine as long as Goddard's not getting involved in the fight. Okay, alright. We can, I suppose, live with that. Go, go, Goddard, go. I, I really need you to do this before Curie goes. Remember, I've got a safety save for this very reason. Um, and, and hopefully we won't need to use it though. Okay, there goes the uh, the, the cooked paku fillet. Hopefully it's going to be done just in time for Curie to eat. Let's move Curie over here and see if she'll just like wait around. I mean, it, it got it got made. It's been moved. Is someone else about to eat it? Best not be swamp. No, it's going to go in there. Uh, where is Curie? She's recovering her breath. Look at the uh, amount of calories. We've got 200 calories. Go, Curie, go. She needs to go eat. I think we're going to be okay, though. This is edge of my seat stuff. I'm not I'm not loving how this is going at the moment. All right, and now we've got the food going. Oh, that's, that could have been a lot worse. Like, a lot, lot worse. Incidentally, the Paku farm down here is starting to build up a backlog of eggs. That's good. We've already hatched four of them. Look at the eggshell. 4,000 grams. That means we've hatched four eggs already. Most of them should have come into this side over here. Uh, this guy was the singular one that managed to get dropped in whilst he was a, a single person. Okay. I also noticed that this auto sweeper can possibly pick up some eggs in a few places, but not from others. So maybe we want to try and figure out uh, one in here. I don't know, maybe. 
It'd be nice if I could reach these uh, conveyor loaders at the same time, but that, that's problems for another day. The problems for today have been overcome. Curie's not, not so stressed anymore. Great. So now with the water spilled over the front of the volcano, I think we're in a situation where things are not too hot. We, we, we did have 100 degree polluted oxygen here, but the moment I let this water free, it, it all got very cool again over here, which is nice. I want to hang around and see what happens to the gold. Let's uh, make that a, a thing. Of course, over on the other side, of the map we have been pumping polluted oxygen into the rocket let's uh, let's see that going over there that that's that's a thing you, you saw that right Do you want to see it again over there uh but we've got some hot hot gold coming out of here right now is it condensing straight away uh you can see that the gold in oh yeah there we go are we getting any steam that's my question so there seems to be some sort of steam happening but the moment it hits the uh, the 30 degree polluted uh oxygen out here and indeed up here we've got 20 degrees and there's even like no, six and, and very cold up there it, it gets quite chill again and at no point do we actually spike up anywhere ridiculous all right we're gonna we're gonna keep that like that for now and you can see that i'm also getting my duplicates to go around and tidy up the whole area i've gone through and put down the the, the sweep orders as far as i know for everything around here and i suppose that kind of means the only thing left to do is uh, start loading up some food on the inside here i'm gonna take uh we don't want gristle berry i'm gonna take the cooked seafood because we are sending there it is cooked seafood uh we're sending curry home Mm, it's very polluted in here. Very polluted in here. Talking of, we're running out of sand. That might be something we have to deal with at some other point. But over on Pyaxlin, I think the way that I am going to deal with it is by sending sand. Ooh, it's over this way. Uh, sending sand through the same system that we were sending the steel through. Uh, so I believe it's this bottom conveyor. Let, let me double check. No, it's the top conveyor. Okay. Filtration medium, a bit of sand. Just, just, just send that along as well. I'm sure everybody will be happy when we get the, uh, the red bolts coming through. Okay, so over on Blagolia, as soon as the food gets delivered, and we don't really need that much, we only need three or four days worth of food, we will send Curie back home. I suppose what else would actually help is if I uh, started clearing all these gas uh, management issues out of here, uh, sorry, infrastructure out of here, and instead put the, put the bed back. You remember there was a bed here, right? <laughs> And indeed, first thing in the morning, Curie comes along to start ripping all of this stuff down. Beautiful, beautiful. I need all of this out of the way before we can actually come into the furniture slot and go, hey, can we have a comfy bed here? Thankfully, only need plastic for it. And we've got plastic all over this place. Of course, one of the things that this area was set up to do was to get the space science. And you, you, need, you need plastic to make that space science. So it, it's everywhere in here. Do I want to sweep up all this stuff? We're going to ask them to... Not so much the plastic or the data banks, but I think just about everything else on the floor can go. Okay, we've got Faraday picking up some cooked seafood. Indeed going to go deliver that off. How much do we have around? Uh, not much, actually. Not much, but it will be enough to get moving. I should probably think about moving all this eggshell at some point as well. But the, for, for the moment, we are all fine. Oh, look, we got a new type of pufflet. Oh, that's that's great. This guy eats oxygen and excretes oxalite. We don't have any fresh oxygen here. That's that's a problem, but it's one we can overcome. Okay, that was some cooked seafood, but it wasn't much, and it's not registered as calories. You can see there's only half a day's worth there. We need to send Curie for a couple of days' worth. Maybe we will actually just let her go a little bit insane and start taking the fried mushroom as well. We've got plenty of fungal spore in the fish feeder, but it's not actually feeding. It says dispenses once per day, but I've not seen it do that. Is there a... not that one. No, there's no automation to worry about. I don't, I'm, I'm a little confused. My uh, my Paku inside here is actually getting more wild, which is not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted even slightly. But there's, there's going to be an issue that will just take over in the background. To be fair, Pakus are such good source of food that you don't actually really need this breeding cycle. As long as you've got enough to keep turning over for the duplicates that you've got, they will, they will lay one per cycle. Alright, we've moved all of the food over there. We're going to change the crew. We're not going to change the crew. We're just going to set to crew uh, and we are going to get ready to move Curie. Do I need a pilot? At least one crew member on board must possess the piloting. Hmm. That's going to be a little awkward. I mean, for instance, if I wanted to send Curie, could I do it? Is this a thing we could do? She doesn't have any natural skills. Like, none that came with, uh, with her being... Uh, born. It wasn't an, an extra. Um, rocket... Shri rocket piloting. Let's do it. 
let's do it. We, we need to be able to send her home. And that is how we're going to do it. One of the last things I need to double check for definite is to change our target to Pyaxin. Three out of three tiles is exactly as far as we can travel. That is great. Uh, we are fueled, but not uh, there's enough fuel for a one-way destination. Not enough cargo has been shifted. You know what? This is all fine. Suffocating who? Okay, that's it's not Curie. That's fine. We've acknowledged all of those warnings, and we are going to be sending Curie back home to a pie axlin. A wonderful stuff. Uh, lots of um, polluted oxygen coming out of here. We might even have to turn this off now that it is set up. Uh, now, now that we've got enough oxygen going in there. Why have we not acknowledged warnings? Begin launch sequence. Go, go, go. I, may, I, th I must have not clicked the second time. A little bit worried that maybe we're going to be melting this. Have a look at the properties. You can see that the temperature is spiking up horrifically. And we also have a duplicate going out there. That's that's not the smartest plan you've ever done, Faraday. That is really not. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it for now because there is a rocket out and it's going to make it over there in exactly one cycle. Beautiful. In the meantime, whilst Curie is travelling, we're literally, as I say, just going to go around and, and um, sweep up a whole bunch of stuff. But over here on Pyaxon, we're going to be landing on this rocket platform here. And then we're going to be taking Curie all the way down to the bottom. And I think we're going to try and make a liquid lock here. And the way that I'm going to do it is coming into the plumbing. We're going to put down a bottle emptier. And this bottle emptier will only deal with crude oil. Because if we put anything else down there, I mean, I want to vacuum this entire space out in here. I, wa I want to make a nice little area. Like if we go boop, uh, that, 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 that's not how you make a liquid lock, wait. <laughs> okay, one of those. If we can get this completely dug out and filled with a, a crude oil, uh, the problem we had with polluted water, which would be the other liquid that I want to use, is that it outgasses polluted oxygen. And uh, that if we have a vacuum, that will completely destroy that. So that's that's totally not what I want to do. Back to the star map, let's see what's going on. 0.9 cycles, yeah. Is she doing alright in there? Is she fine? Okay, she's making some orbital collection data. That's that, that's great. Some some data banks for us. That's that's cool. Good good work with that Curie. Okay, so in preparation for Curie arriving, we've gone and set this bottle opener, and I've gone crude oil. Uh, I turned auto bottle on. There's no, zero pending deliveries. That's uh, that's a, a problem that we need to work on. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just ask for all this to get mopped up on this side here. We want the flow to continue down, and it, hey, how did you get that? Where, how did this get here? All right, well, that's not the end of the world. We, we can definitely live with that, but we want to pick up as much of this crude oil as possible so we can start filling up tiles down below. But of course... Downtime's been called. I mean, yay. <laughs> Another thing we get to do, if we have a look, Faraday's going to try and use that cot. No, 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 no. Let's put him into a proper bedroom now. All right, that's beautiful. Another thing we've got to watch out for is these shine nymphs. They've managed to make their way into the bedrooms, and they are going to be... Is it F4? No, let, let's... F5. Uh, okay, so this one's just a baby. It doesn't do any big lighting. But look at this. These are, these are problems that will keep people awake if we... Uh, we don't let them in. I've asked for the doors to be closed. Faraday, really, get some sleep, man. Get some sleep. I've asked for these doors to be closed to try and keep them out, and maybe we'll just kill this one. I don't know. We'll do something with this one. Okay, Plank is doing some mopping for us. We do actually have some... There it is, crude oil behind there. Two kilograms, in fact. That might even be enough. Hopefully someone is like, ah, uh, 16. Let's, what happens if we turn that up? Four? I mean, I suppose that's weightable, especially as Plank is doing the mopping. I suppose that's the four that he's got. Store crude oil top of the list after all the mops. Okay, that's that's good, actually. That's very good. Eh, uh, that's, that's some liquid. Three kilograms. It's a, it's a good start, I suppose. It's a good start. Okay, 10 seconds left. I suppose we can see how well my game's lagging at this point. Is it going to be a real 10 seconds or is it going to be like a simulated 10 seconds? Well, anyway, we're going to go look at Pyaxlin. Is that 0-0? Zero, zero? Okay, well, if we look over here, we should start to watch the re-entry systems going. What's these little dots up here? Look, look at those. Okay, that, that, that's pretty cool. But where where is the rocket? Here it comes and it's going to warm everything up, right? Let's have a look at this rocket platform. 45 degrees at the moment. Uh, it doesn't look like the rocket platform's actually warming up all that much. So there's a lot of gas pipes and stuff around that are warming the area. I wonder how the rocket platform manages to avoid that. Even these tiles under... Look at this. This tile got up to 100 degrees here. I'm not melting my plastic, am I? Uh, not at the moment, though I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we find some naphtha. Uh, more importantly, though, uh, here, here comes Curie. Oh, wait. She gets to learn a skill. Wait, you've, you've come from a place. Oh, it's the rocket pilot... Uh, 
Yeah, rocket piloting. I, I was trying to find the word pilot tree. I don't know whether that was the real word or not, but that's that's the one my brain kept on giving to me. Anyway, Q Curie is now coming along to rip out our uh, plastic production. Yeah, I know it seems a little bit weird, but that's because I, I really need to get some more atmospheric docks in here. Uh, we have a lot of... Ooh, I see some problems that might be really big problems if we don't take care of that. Okay, all right, that, that, that's nice. I want these oxygens to feed into here, and then we're going to make ourselves a few extra atmosphere docks uh, over here. Um, atmospheric suits, sorry, these are the docks. Uh, because I notice Ruben spends a lot of time just chilling up here when really, look, look all these guys are glum and stuff. And, and these are, oh, no, they're not higher priorities. These should have been higher priorities. What's this? Oh, okay, let's, let's swap those priorities around and see if that also helps. I'm going to go with sevens rather than nines because no, nobody needs nines. Okay, deliver suit, deliver suit. Of course, we do not actually have any suits. Right. What do you mean no power? No power? Really? Oh, okay. All right. I, I will allow this for now. Let's put that one down there. I think Curie's probably uh, on her way to start digging, but that, that didn't get round to being happening, so that, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, do I have... Oh, man, what are, we, what are we short of? What are we short of? It's actually the iron. Okay, no problem there. We've got enough reed fiber, so if I just send some materials across... Look, look at all the different... Oh, the atmosphere suits change color? No, no, they don't. So why? Am... That seems weird. That seems very weird. <laughs> In fact, none of none of anything changes for any of these, so it doesn't matter what I send back. Okay, that's that's good. <laughs> Looks like we're sending some iron. We've got twenty six tons of the stuff over here. Okay, that that's fine. Let's send some iron. I know it's gonna go round in a loop if I do this, but I'm I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. We'll we'll let them send our, our metal round in big loops here with the refined metal. Send the send the actual iron as well. That's that's gonna take a while to to, to start filtering through. So uh, we just we gotta wait. We gotta wait. I ideally would like to set up some atmospheric dot uh, atmospheric suit docks out here as well perhaps we could set them up along this line yeah maybe we'll make a little system where you come down across and back like this not oxygen pump should really be down at the bottom now because we've got a lot of carbon dioxide here and we need to get rid of that so we actually have the bedroom space for one more duplicate over here. Okay, that's a thing to think about. And we are making basically a plus of food. So that that's that's good. In fact, talking about food, let's come into here and turn these off because there's nothing worse than having your rocket fill up with food when you're not, not inside it. I mean, there's plenty of things worse than that, but that's a pretty bad one. That's pretty bad. Okay, Curie going to dig. Hopefully we've got enough crude oil here to at least hold in this spot and, and stop the, uh, the gases exchanging. That would be the ideal scenario that we end up with. Gonna end up with a little bit of vacuum in here as well. Okay, that's cool. If we could get another blob of liquids on this side, that would be another vacuum. Oh, okay, that's that's a thing. I'll, I'll take that, I suppose. I'll take that. In fact, let's get rid of that one and say we want to actually dig that one out first. Yeah. The iron's going around in circles already. Uh, do we take iron? Wait, stop. Take iron off the list? I think we're going to take iron off the list. Here it is. Take it off the list. Okay, so with that, we should now be able to go, hey, two of these, please. Thank you. Okay, I see why she can't get in there and dig. It's because this is too big a drop. Uh, I, I don't know why I always ignore drops of three tiles and thinking they're good enough. They're, they're really not. Oh, we're getting deliveries made over here. That's nice. When are we going to actually fabricate, though? Someone's fabricating. Okay, uh, fabricating supply. <sighs> we're getting close, though. We're getting close. Okay, so roughly figuring out. I think we're going to want to cut this section out here. I have no idea what that just was. We'll, we'll do that like that. Uh, and then we've got another... I, I think that might even be everything we want. But if I just ignore this volcano and go, actually, could we just take all of this out as one big box? Uh, something like this. I'm tempted to leave this up here. Let, let's let's do it. Let's let's leave that there. And this is where the line of abyss light is. So let's leave the abyss light in place as well. And maybe that this here will be my petroleum boiler area. Oh hey, Curie's doing some stuff. Let's do uh, priority nine there, so that the crude oil can flow across and fill up both spaces. Okay, this this is looking good. She's gonna build this tile, which push the push the crude back. No, nope, no, no. She needs to breathe. Okay, fair enough. Why is Faraday always suffocating? What's what's he doing out here? Why why does he keep trying to go outside? I think he must be trying to pick up stuff from up there. I, I don't know. Let's have a look at his thing. Um, recover Beth. Store swampy delights. Where 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 are they? 
Ah, store polluted dirt. Where's the polluted dirt? This polluted dirt. All right, well, I mean, best of luck to you, my friend. Okay, we'll, we'll leave you doing that. I'm sure it will all be fine. Oh, talking of leaving you doing that, we got a vacuum in the middle. Yeah, great. Okay, this 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 is really good. Really, really, really good. We've got ourselves a proper liquid lock set up here. You can tell because, look, there's a vacuum being held back from both carbon dioxide and the polluted oxygen. Great. I'm a little bit worried about what happens when this one gets dug out. Let's just make sure. It's, it's these two that are the important ones, so that should be fine. We're not too hot down here, are we? Curie seems to already be complaining about the temperature. Suffocating is Faraday again. That's no problem. Okay, well, there we go. Nice. Wonderful. And uh, great stuff. Let's put some ladders down. Uh, do I want sandstone ladders? What's uh, what's a material that we're using around here? Igneous rock. Okay, we'll, we'll get some igneous rock ladders. But with that, I think I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to continue our digging out process here. We have got a petroleum boiler to be made. I've been going around. I've been looking at everybody's uh, tutorials, trying to get the ideas of what I want to use for mine. Because as always, in these situations where you're facing a custom environment, it's time to bust out a custom petroleum boiler. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Hee <laughs>